What's going on guys, Dr. Root 7 signing in back with another tutorial video for the PlayStation Vita. I've been meaning to cover this for quite some time. However, given the state of this particular emulator, I was kind of thinking if I should be making a tutorial video or not. But you know, it's always good to keep you guys updated with what's going on with the scene and the current status of the emulator along with what the PlayStation Vita is capable of doing. So that's why I bring to you guys the Dreamcast emulator for the PlayStation Vita. This particular emulator is not like the others that I've shown quite rough around the edges and still need quite a lot of polishing. From my experience I was not able to run one of the most common games. I'll get to that in a bit. So the game that I'm playing right now, Hydro Thunder, this game is running quite awesome. Expect this kind of performance from most of the games. You will get minor sound stuttering here and there. A little bit of FPS drop. So yeah there will be another game that I'll be demonstrating at the end of the video once I'm done with the tutorial so stay tuned just for fun or informative purposes watch this video and yeah let's get right into it all right so let's start with the installation process of the emulator a couple of stuffs needs to be performed so please listen carefully and follow through unlike the other emulators this one's a bit different so just go to the first link download the VPK file the emulators VPK file then go to the second and third link and download these two homebrew apps After all of those downloaded, connect to your PlayStation Vita using Vita Shell and you can paste all of those three VPK files onto the root of your SD card or if you have a specific folder, you can just copy and paste it over there. Install so, Flycast by pressing on X and just following through the on-screen instructions. Do the same with the other two VPK files, Auto Plugin and Shark Breed. Exit out of Vita Shell. First, head over to Auto Plugin 2. Go into Vita Plugins, install plugins. First plugin that you're going to install would be Q bridge by the official flow. Second plugin would be FD fix by the official flow or repatch by dot tv so you can install either one of these two make sure that you do not have both of these installed otherwise it's going to overlap and create a crash exit out of auto plugin 2 restart your playstation vita over to shark breed let it perform the on-screen steps Okay, exit out of Shark Breed as well. Run Flycast emulator for the first time. Run the emulator once and just exit out of it. Couple of other things that needs to be done through the PC. Let's head right back into the PC. Okay, so it's time to add in the ROMs, the BIOS files and the patches for certain games. So I'm going to talk about all of those one after another. So the first thing that I need you guys to know is it's always recommended to use the GDI dumps in order to get the best performances. This is according to the official release notes. So it says GDI dumps must be preferred for best performances. Another very important thing, make sure to keep on saving constantly because the emulator suffer from a memory leak which causes the emulator to crash during long runs. I'm going to put all of these links in the description for you guys in order to get a better understanding. This is the compatibility list of the game. So here it says there is a total of 50 games that you would be able to play with zero to no issues, full speed or near full speed. 72 games that are playable with very little bugs or glitches. Just refer to this list and select the games that you want to play. If we select one of these games, for example, Sonic adventures too so it will take you to a forum there's going to be patches and the recommended settings in order to get the best performance so just scroll down and you're going to see the settings the desired settings for that for the game not for all games but for some games like for this one we have a 30 FPS patch it's going to be coming in a zip format just go ahead and download the zip format extract it connect to your PlayStation Vita and then the data folder go into the flycast folder inside the flycast folder go into the subfolder data subfolder and this is where you're going to paste the patches after creating a folder named patches for the games like i've said these are the roms always make sure that you have these games under gdi format like i have stated and for the bios files you're going to paste it here inside the data folder as well there is another 
link which i'll be putting in the description it will give you the suggested settings for the emulator it's just a one-time thing you're going to set these up just once and save it and this will apply for all the games so yeah i'll just run through all of these by showing you guys through the emulator itself so on the emulator we're going to go into settings we're going to first set up the directory the content location add from uxo we're going to look for the data folder after that flycast and then select data and then we're going to finalize it to select current directory head over to controls the only one that can be configured would be the ps vita controller at the very bottom so i'd like to select all of the other ones as port b's except the one that we're going to map everything is pre-configured except two things left trigger and a right trigger go ahead and touch on the left trigger i'm going to set it to l1 right trigger for the r1 i already have it configured so we're going to go ahead and change the emulator settings let's just start with general the cable should be set to tv composite which is set to tv composite broadcast should be set to pal region should be set to europe so we're going to head over to video the first option that it says transparent sorting it should be set to per strip fast sorting should be enabled under rendering options we're going to set the automatic frame skipping to normal shadows disabled fogs disabled under texture filtering we're going to set it to default use minimaps enabled use simple shaders disable the v-sync native depth interpolation should be disabled internal resolution should be set to 640 by 480 for audio we're going to check on the box that says enable dsp for advanced the cpu mode should be set to dynorec idle skip should be enabled so check on that box use neon simd that checkbox should be enabled as well down clock ratio should be set to 1500 self modifying code checks should be set to off for network check on the box that says enable upnp for other check on the box that says multi-threaded emulation and fast gd rom load so we are done with the configuration of the emulator go ahead and hit on done after this just exit out of the emulator run the emulator again All right, minor hiccup guys. Sonic Adventures and Sonic Adventures 2 apparently doesn't run just for me. You did this. It's all your fault. It may or may not run for you. For me, it just didn't. However, I just showed you guys how to run the emulator, how to set up the emulator in order to get the best performance. It's always good to include these kind of tutorial videos just to show what the Vita is capable of and what the current status of the scene is. That's one of the reasons why I decided to make this tutorial video. I showed you another game at the beginning of this video. That game was running perfectly fine. This game is running perfectly fine as well as you can see. Experiment experimentation and just to try out these different emulators for fun there are lots of other platforms where you can experience these retro emulations even better if i do get the chance i will and that's a different kind of content so this is basically what flycast emulator is able to do two of the games that i am able to run properly and they're running perfectly fine so yeah if you found this tutorial useful, make sure to drop in a like and subscribe. Join my Discord server. There are lots of people joining. There are some people out there, some really good folks out there who takes time out of their hand to help you guys out by answering your questions. So yeah, if you want to be a part of that community, go ahead and do so. Links in the description. I'll see you guys on the next one. Dr. Brute 7 signing off. Peace. Damn, this game is nice, bro. This game reminds me of House of Dead and I enjoyed House of Dead a lot.